gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be alright today. People's Kitchen Collective, it's a beautiful collaboration between the three of us and between us and our community. We're based out of Oakland, California, and we have the opportunity uh, to cook through the recipes that our ancestors have shared with us, the flavors that have informed a rebellion. So we're a grassroots political food project. We're you know, chefs, artists, activists that are drawing from all of our diverse backgrounds, all of our skills to create you know, dinners and create dining experiences that are rooted in storytelling, rooted in using food as a tool of political education and community organizing. So we offer a free breakfast program in West Oakland that is inspired by the legacy of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense and one of the little known facts about them is that they were actually at one point serving more children than the U.S. government and it was because of their initiative that the U.S. government eventually made free breakfast available to children, school children in need. So we do that. We also offer a diaspora dinner, which traces the migration of both people and ingredients throughout the world. And we host sliding scale community dinners. We have a system that is built on the backs of so many people. And to be able to be explicitly um, stating that with every meal that we uh, cook is very important because there is such honor and respect uh, to the sacrifices that are made in our families, in the food workers, in the um, experience of trying to bring culture into back into food. Uh, that's been it's been raced in many ways. There's something about food specifically that can that can provide that moment. I think for for me it's all about food and it's absolutely not about food and I think that um, I cook with food for flavor but also for their narratives and for the stories that they have and that they have carried with them. You know, these flavors have been traveling for generations. In learning to love myself and learning to love my community and learning about ourselves and our history, I would spend so much time in the kitchen with my grandmothers and I, that's, I understood the history of our migrations through our recipes. So cooking becomes this like political act for me of self-love and, and caring for myself and you know this act of gratitude then for my for my community and my elders. I think that one of the most important things that people can do for themselves is to cook their own food. As much as possible. If you hate to cook, you know, buddy up with somebody who loves to cook <laughs> and do the dishes. But I think that, you know, looking at capitalism and what the structures have put in place, um, for us to I, like, why is food so precious? In and not in a nutritional way, but in like a like why why is there this culture that packages and buys and sells, you know, the foods of our ancestors yeah. back to us at these incredible prices? And mm. and I think that getting back to how you can get your feet in the dirt and your hands on the food is really about self determination and survival and. Um, we have a collaborator, um, Kate Kohunko, and she says that cooking is not just about survival, but it's also about cultural survival, and I absolutely believe mm -hmm. that. That's our goal. When we create a meal, we have a narrative that goes along with it so that those moments are captured, and there can be a sweet awakening with the food that we're serving. People's Kitchen Collective prioritizes the voices of people of color, mm -hmm. of queer communities, of immigrants, communities in struggle, first and foremost. And I feel like when you do that, you're inherently against the system. We use food as a way of dismantling systemic oppression and calling attention to injustice. Cooking together is an act of uh, rebellion, but eating together is revolutionary.